my mom flew into Nassau and we picked her up and proceeded to take her on, well the plan was, to take her on a beautiful once in a lifetime sailing adventure in the Exumas. One problem arose and that's that we have absolutely zero wind. So now she's on a once in a lifetime experience of motoring through the Exumas. We are Brett and Jade Evans. Our motto, let's, is a life philosophy that has propelled us from experience to experience. All of which has brought us here, floating down through the unimaginably blue water of the Exuma. The journey has only just begun, so subscribe and welcome aboard on our greatest expedition yet. You're dying not to work, but work until you die, you know that's true. Have you thought it through? Because you love to tell me what to do. All right, so we are motoring currently from Highborn Key down to Lobster Key. It's super calm, there's no wind, so we're just motoring. But we're motoring in like 10 feet of water the entire time. So it's a little stressful. Now we're in like 20 feet, so it's a little less stressful. Jade was up front. I was watching for coral spotting. heads, making sure we didn't run into a cliff. Basically. And you succeeded, good job. I succeeded, no You did not run ahead. Wow, we missed. There's a cool little private island right there. Would you wanna live there? We have made it through a couple of caves. We stopped last night at Highburn K, and now Highburn Key. If you only read to learn your words, you'll pronounce them wrong. Highburn Key, and now we are at Lobster Key. We've stopped. It's about midday. We're gonna go for a little bit of a swim and a little bit of a paddleboard and do some island living. We finally found a place that isn't infested with humans oh. or humans. <laughs> Thimble jellyfish. From the moment we pulled out of Nassau to the time we arrived in the Exumas, we were surrounded by millions, maybe even billions, of these quarter-sized stinging creatures. As magical as it was to pass through the clouds of them, we were so grateful to see them thinning out as we moved eastward. of exasperation she let out when she found out we have a hand pump for our paddleboard. Gotta save electricity out in the water. They're really good hand pumps. Kyle sent us these awesome paddleboards. We got them and we haven't ever inflated them yet. Look, look how perfect this is. It was made for that. It, it felt like it was the exact length. These are the backpacks. <laughs> We were planning to inflate them on the deck. I think that's typically what we'll do, but right now the deck is occupied by the dinghy. So I think I'm going to unroll it into the water and hold on to one end and inflate it in the water. And we'll see how it goes. So far, this is my plan and I have begrudging support from the rest of the family. What's the word? Naysayers, we're the naysayers. You're like moment. humoring me. We are humoring you. But I think but. that's gonna work. So epic. We opted for inflatables so that we could put them away in the lazarette for long passages. And then when it's calm, we can put them on the side of the boat. What was that? <laughs> My biceps are gonna look great. I think I'm gonna put on a sun shirt though because the sun is hot. So for the record, I'd like to say that earlier I was hot and Jade says, jump in, jump in, it's fine, don't worry about it, it's all good. So I jump in without even the ladder to get out or anything and I'm swimming around and she's like, see, it's fine. Then she decides she wants to go in the water and she's like, no, wait, what if there's sharks? Ooh, I think it's a barracuda. And I'm like, you just told me to jump in and she's like, I know, but that was you. <laughs> so that's where we're at in life that's right now. Just because I'm fearful doesn't mean I need to make you fearful. Because I know it's irrational. I don't know where you got all these irrational fears from in the first place. Definitely wasn't you. Definitely not. We're ready. Two paddle boards, three humans and two dogs. The beach is not too far away. 
Kaya is about a quarter mile and it's a calm day. We can do it. I'm excited. I like Luckily, it. the wind is blowing off the beach, so it'll be easier to get back. Brett is being such a punk about this entire thing. I think he's just teasing. I'm not positive, but I know for a fact that he loves paddleboarding. I don't know why he's acting like he doesn't like them. I'm very confused. First uh, dilemma is how to get the dogs on. Penny, I think we'll just hop right on. Yeah, sure, but you did. Dingo, go on. Good boy, go on. Oh, Penny's already on. He likes paddleboarding. He'll figure it out. He used to Penny. do it all the time. Wait, Penny, you're with us. Penny, come. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye. See you later. Don't forget to go to the beach. It's actually really cute. Come on, Shane. Mom's already almost to the beach. Yep. Nice. Dude. I am impressed at how well this is going, to be honest. It's a very stable board. It really is. The boards are great. Yes. For the win. Crazy. Dingo, stay on the board. Go get Brett. Dogs could not decide who they wanted to ride with. So once we got over close to that pet, the tide is just ripping out. Yeah. And so I got sucked in and I went slamming into a rock. I saw that. I got that on video. Yeah, and I had to use the paddle and I just jammed it in and pushed us off the rock. But yeah. I got the bags. I'm gonna climb on with mom. For these bungee straps in the front and the back, so you can put that one in the back. Where are you gonna ride? I'll sit up here, I guess. There we go. All right, take me home, mama. Some questions from our viewers. Does it stress you out having us live on a boat? Oh, me? Yeah. Um, only the episode where you showed your ditch bag plan. That freaked that, you out? That one, very stressful. What about the rest of it, though? Usually it's a I don't like when Dre got burned, that scared me. And the ditch bag. I don't like to think about you abandoning ship at all. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's fun. Look at them. That was a very successful trip, Mama. I think so. All right, we need your uh, your kill cord that's attached to your ankle. My kill cord. <laughs> I wore the kill cord the whole time. Perfect, so safe. Now I'll take some lunch and get back on the water. Now that we're not on the water now. All right, that wasn't bad. We got the paddle boards all mounted up. I think they look pretty good. And now we're cooling off inside, drinking some water, eating chips and salsa. I think Jade's making a salad. Is there a salad making outfit? So I, had, I washed it really good because we, when we went to the store, as I was picking out the produce, an employee walks through and just starts spraying all the produce with air freshener. And I was just like, hmm. Also, in case you're wondering, it is half past Thursday. <laughs> Things are 
going well on board Eva. We just cleaned up lunch. <sighs> now we're gonna go on a sailing adventure. And then we're going to go on a snorkeling adventure because we're trying to do everything that we can do on a very calm sunny day, which is paddleboarding and snorkeling. We will potentially sail, but if we can't, we can at least still snorkel. We'll keep you updated on the wind conditions. We're going outside, out on the Atlantic side of the island. The Atlantic Ocean. <sighs> Terrifying. But the main thing for you to know is that we are on a mission to see a sunken plane. Cool hat. <laughs> what do you guys think? Fashionable? So right now, we need to go that way. And the chart basically says that there's a reef right there and right there. And it's like six feet somewhere in between. But the two different charts conflict. One says to go towards that reef and go across. The other one says to go across this reef. Try and pick a route outside. We'll have Jade stand at the front and see if she can spot coral heads and reefs. And hopefully we don't hit them. We'll go slow. We're at high tide right now. High tide was an hour ago, so. Perfect. And we're gonna get some wind. Artificial wind by moving the boat. Wait, Dingo. It's so hot. It's so hot. I actually feel like my hat feels more like it's gonna fall off. When my hair's down, I think it makes my head bigger. We have successfully navigated ourselves through that little break in the reef, and now we're in the ocean and there's not really any wind, but we might attempt sailing. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just absolutely refusing to like even acknowledge you. <laughs> I wouldn't call it uncooperative, but. <laughs> oh, good girl. And then I'll be pulling back here. Okay. Kind of the same thing. Push it, hit it, hit it forward. Forward? Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, now we're sailing. Thanks for your help. Sails are up. I took us out, if you can see this or not. I took us pretty far east, so then we can use the wind because the wind is to our port. It's only 34 degrees right now, so I'll probably have to go a little more starboard to catch a little more wind, but we're cruising along. It is four o'clock. Sun doesn't go down till like eight. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Say you. I like the paddleboards a lot. They're sexy. And they fit perfect on the boat. Perfect though. Gives us some privacy. We are just coming up on the cut and 
just in time for the wind to die. We managed to sail, oh, there's the engine. We managed to sail all the way here. The catch right there, so we'll furl in the sails now that we don't have any wind, and we'll motor through. Right. Give it all you got. This is your action scene. Show off the muscles. We made it through the cut and literally five seconds before, okay, maybe not five seconds, not literally five. Right before we came in, a whole crew of charter catamarans came through the cut right before we did. And it's just, I feel like it's this big extended family reunion with all their little kids and it's super fun. So they're all anchored here. We're all right by, that's the sunken plane where everybody's snorkeling. And then here's all the charter catamarans. And it just seems like the funnest family vacation. But we're gonna wait them out. I think we'll make some dinner. We're anchored and set for the night. And I think that we'll probably dive it tomorrow when the sun is a little bit higher. Change of plans. All of the boats only stayed for about 15 minutes. Now they're on to their next spot, which means we're about to have this all to ourselves. They're motoring in a cute little line out the cut right now. It's about to be just us. So we're gonna go check it out. We still got sun, sun, sunshine. We still got the sun. Right? Right. We're going snorkeling. Well, I can't find my snorkel. Oh, that's problematic. <laughs> This is the famous, or infamous, Norman's Key plane wreck. Research into this dive site led me down a rabbit hole of various rumors with drug smuggling, appliance transportation, or even an inebriated pilot doing touch and goes. All I know for certain is that this is a fate any pilot has had at least one nightmare of, having your equipment end up as an artificial reef, beautiful as it is now several decades later. But it is so shallow that one of the pieces of metal for a second I thought might puncture the paddleboard and I was like, oh no. Day one and I pop it. But I didn't. We're okay. Oh, I missed. And now we're gonna go dive it and see it from under the water. So, so cool. But <laughs> we hurried out of the water because we we're about to get hit by a squall. There was thunder and lightning. I'm coming, I'm coming. And now we're hurrying to load up the paddle boards. We would like to still have paddle boards in the morning. We've rather enjoyed our first day of paddle boarding around. <laughs> Woo! My toenails were pink, but the sun bleached them. Now they're like a green gray. The drone footage is bomb. We wrapped it up pretty quick at the dive site because while we were there, we saw some huge lightning strikes. They were probably normal size, but they were close, so they looked big. And they were, they were right there, and right there, and right there. There may have been more than three, but they were very loud. And we were right there. So not very far away. And so we thought, you know, let's not be in the water during an electrical storm. We lived. So far, we've made good decisions today. We have not run aground. We've made it to multiple anchorages. We've made it to multiple dive sites. And one of the places on the chart after we went through, like zoomed in, and it said like asterisk, not for novices. And we made it through, which means we are not novices or we're really lucky novices. <laughs> Everyone else in this anchorage is 
bugging out and going home because we just watched Top Gun. Time will tell about the storm. And now we need to make some dinner because we have expended an extremely large amount of calories, especially in proportion to the amount we have consumed today. Um, do we consume calories today? I, I Salad. Salad. Yes. We need salad. food, basically, is where we're at. We're gonna have some french fries and some hamburgers. Backstory, I don't know if you guys, have we ever mentioned? My mom is not only beautiful and adventurous and friendly and amazing. She's also single. <laughs> She's also single. <laughs> Drop your applications in the comment section below. <laughs> <laughs> she helps out and coordinates a lot of our sponsor deals to help us make this whole YouTube thing work as a living and eventually probably We'll be able to replace her income and then she can just sit with us all the time That's the plan. That's the plan. So she manages all of our sponsor deals and she's super awesome recently We were reached out to via email by butcher box and we don't have an address We were out of the country So it's not really a sponsorship that makes a lot of sense for our lifestyle because we can't get the packages however I really, really, really wanted it. I wanted it. So she, and she has an address. And I have an address. Butcher Box is a really good brand. Some of my friends do it, and they're always recommending it to me. So when they reached out, I was like, yes, yes, we will do that. And then we go to pull out the meat. And guess what? Her <laughs> friends, who love her so much, had already given her some. And I said it was a sign. When we were at a friend's place, they emptied out their freezer and gave us a bunch of food for our provisions. And one of that was some frozen meat from Butcher Box. So that is what we're using. So thank you, yes. Jeff. Thank you very much. It's one hundred percent grass fed, grass finished. They also have pork and chicken and fish, and it's all super like high quality. But right now, which is I'm a little jealous of, is they are offering bacon for life. If you sub sign up, you will get are you yeah, you will yeah. get a pack of bacon with every box delivered to your door for the life of your subscription, forever. Bacon for life. Bacon for your life. Your life or the life of your subscription? The life of your the subscription. So as long as you're as long subscribed, as you're a box. they will also send bacon. Yeah, they will with every so box. It's like bonus Three bacon. Bonus bacon. Bonus bacon. Bonus bacon just in time for Father's Day. Bonus bacon. Bonus bacon for Father's Day. So, if anybody wants to be my father... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We'll leave the link in the description for ButcherBox and we'll put it on the screen. Go check them out. They're awesome. The meat's delicious. And... <laughs> you just pointed to my mom. The meat is delicious. <laughs> Everything in this corner is delicious. <laughs> you guys are terrible. You, yeah, you wanted this. You wanted, you wanted this. I did. Thank you so much for watching. The journey has only just begun, so subscribe and join us next time on a marathon date with my mom as we continue sailing south through the Bahamas. Oh, that's kind of fun. Penelope. Penelope is Hercules. Twists his ankle at the beginning, of the very beginning of Hercules. The donkey twists his ankle, so Hercules picks up the donkey and the cart. My favorite line in any movie ever is in Narnia, when the kid's like, okay, horsey, and the horse turns to him and is like, my name's Philip. <laughs> it's my favorite line in any movie ever. <laughs>